In this video, I give you a quick overview of why I like to use sessions within Capture One Pro. If you find this video useful, then please like and subscribe. And for you lucky Fuji and Sony users, Phase One are currently providing a 25% discount. Please see the description below for links and a discount code. The reason I like Sessions so much and use them exclusively with Capture One Pro is because they're completely self-contained, they are portable and they are also very flexible. Ok, let's take a look at what a Session actually looks like. A Session is self-contained because it's actually a series of folders within a folder. Here we have a Session and a representation of the Session folders. These icons and descriptions here represent the session folders and these actually exist as real folders on the disk. If I just right click on say the capture folder and select show in explorer, here we see the capture folder is a folder on the disk containing all of the imported image files. If I just go up a level then we can see that within the session folder here, which was created when we created the session, are our various actual folders which correspond to what is shown here. This is really useful because we have our actual session file here and then the various folders containing all the adjustments and images, which makes the whole session completely self-contained and also extremely portable. All I would have to do is copy the parent folder. If I just go up a level, here it is, to another computer and I can open it back up in Capture One and everything's there. Now this is really good for organisation because now I can store various different projects in different folders in different sessions on my disk, totally independent from each other. It's a really handy system. Now these folders are laid out and function logically for a really nice quick workflow. You can create a session and just jump right in. First of all, once you've created your session on the disk, it will create these default folders for you and then the first thing you do is to import your files into the capture folder. So just select import here, up pops the dialog and it will normally have your capture folder, the session capture folder as the default import location. You can import where you like but this is just really handy. So now you'd have all of the files you've imported inside the capture folder and now you can edit them, select them, rate them, star them, flag them, all the normal things. And here's where the default workflow comes in. When you're whizzing through the files and you wish to reject or accept certain images, you can just right click on a file and then you can move it to the selects folder or move it to the bin, delete it. If you choose move to selects, then it will move the file or files you have selected into the selects folder, ready for editing. Or if you choose delete, move to session trash, then it actually moves the file into the session trash folder, physically moves the file. The files are moved into the relevant folders within the session folder structure. And then when you're completely done and want to delete the files you don't need, you can use empty session trash. Which pops up a little warning, do you really want to delete them from the disk? So we have a really nice, quick, basic, but automatic default workflow. I love it because you can jump straight in and get things done. I have one running session, a working session, which my day-to-day -day images come in and out of, which I edit through just so that I don't have separate sessions for each day. A lot of my work is just messing about and experimenting. And then I have separate sessions for specific events. So just by using sessions, I have everything covered or my organization is taken care of. Sessions have other organizational sections, such as albums and smart albums. The default albums are all images and five star rated. And you can have your own. You can set up specific albums with their own rules. A quick normal album which has no filters or you can create a smart album and well call it whatever you like. Let's just call this album one, album one and then you can set the rules for the album from here and there are also presets so the album will only show the images with the attributes that you select. Again really useful, let's just delete that. And these albums are not folders, they're just filters. So they will look through all of the folders within your session and will display the relevant files for that filter. 
Also, if you like, you can create new folders to add to your session or add existing folders to your session. Here in the Session Favorites, just click the little plus. Once the dialog pops up, you can select any folders you'd like to add to your session or create new ones, it's totally up to you. If I do need to add new folders, what I tend to do is to create the new folders within the session folder structure so that the whole session is completely self-contained. Now, another great thing about using sessions, the session view, is that you can see within the folder structure your whole computer. You have complete access to your PC or Mac filing system. So for instance, down here in the system folders, I can open up this PC, then open up pictures. Then I can click on a folder, say exported for web, where I keep various images. Now I can scroll through all of these images on the disk, then maybe pick an image. Then I can just go over to an editing tab and start editing. As this image is not in the session, Capture One will store the edit information in the folder where the image resides, which is again, really handy. I can also perform filing operations. I can move these images from folder to folder, from maybe a folder into my session, that sort of thing. I can copy the images, rename the images. I can even right click on the folder, create new folders, albums and smart albums. It really is extremely flexible, a great way to work. You don't really have to go into your PC's filing system at all. You can do most things, if not everything you need to do, within the Capture One folder system. It's really nice when you don't have to mess around with different systems. You can do everything from here, move anything you need into your session, and you're done. It's superb. Very flexible indeed. And there you go. That's a quick overview of the reasons that I like to use sessions within Capture One Pro. I love them because they're self-contained, portable, and extremely flexible. Sessions are one of the main reasons that I use Capture One Pro as my image organization and editing software. Give them a try, you might like them.